Let's just briefly review what we know about coordinate transformations. And I'll use two words that I'll use only now and never again, but you'll run into them in books, so I might just as well do it. So if I have a mapping that maps point x into another point which I denote x prime equals f of x, and uh, we remain within the manifold or state state space, then active transformation is a transformation of taking a point in the state space and moving it to some other point, unique by definition of the map. A linear transformation we can always represent by a matrix. So if there is a matrix such that x is mapped into m of x, another point, that's called an active transformation. A passive transformation is a transformation in which we keep the point fixed but we change coordinate system. In that case, f of x gets multiplied by inverse, inverse of the matrix. We assume that this matrix transformation is non-singular, meaning its determinant is not zero and it's an invertible matrix. Uh, mapping transform coordinates, we start in original coordinate, we map it by m into some point in state space. Then we apply our law of motion, f, and then we go back to original coordinates. And in general, you know, I'll get something. So what happens is if you have some map in the dynamical system in the original one, when you do this transformation, you get a different map right. in general, yeah. But if there is a symmetry, then something happens. So you know you have to appreciate that in general, uh, this is what Newton says here, but in you know some other coordinates looks like totally unrecognizable piece of gibberish. A different law. We did this with smooth conjugacies, you know, I'm writing this as linear operations, but what I have in mind is uh, also nonlinear ones. So it's not, not totally obvious. You know, I go from Cartesian coordinates to polar, and, you know, Alaska, let's say South Pole that used to look totally sensible in our coordinates now in Mercator projection is something totally weird, you know, it's huge, it's bigger than anything. So, you know, it's not totally obvious, but I can go back. So it's more general than that, but right now I just need this linear version of it.